Hello, hello. How's it going? Hi. Hi. Let me just make sure I'm good on there. I guess I am good to go. So let's get this started. Hi, my name is Nigeria Chambers of Big O Belt Media. Sarah and Marcus, a pleasure to talk to you today about the new series, Incredible Animal Journeys, which is coming to Hulu and Disney Plus, November 19th. Um, I've been uh, honored uh, by the good folks at NetGeo to check out this entire season so far. And man, so much to talk about. This was just it's so many emotions there was moments where i was just like jaw dropped there was moments i wanted to kind of tear up um and and, and then honestly the narration by jeremy ren i mean what can't this guy do he just kept me engaged the entire time and i also got to make a quick remark before we get into things is that as a as an avid sports fan i really don't know which i like more between sports commentary and wildlife narration like they're really starting to become like one in the same to me like there's a lot of action within the, the the narration behind it but starting off with jeremy having him a part of this everything that this man has been through over the last few years uh what was just your level of excitement with having him and what was his level of excitement being a part of it well, we were really privileged to have Jeremy voice the series. And I think he brings, like you say, he brings so much to it. And that's because what we wanted with the narrator was someone who had gravitas, but had emotion and could really connect you with these stories and really identify with them. And actually, Jeremy has all that, you know, he's been on his own incredible journey. And I think um, in kind of producing the sessions with him, he really connected with these animals and what they were going through. And like you say, there are moments in this series that will make you cry. They make us all cry. And I've watched it a hundred times. And yeah, Jeremy definitely, I literally have watched it a hundred times. Um, but each time, because there's such powerful moments and that emotion and Jeremy really emotionally connected with this. And we hope he does that for the audience. And I think it'd be fair to say, and I'm sure Jeremy won't mind us saying this, that, that I mean, he, he welled up with emotion, uh, particularly around uh, the, both the whale birth, which is a whale first, and also that extraordinary moment that uh, uh, the dying whale entangled in, in, in fishing line uh, is rescued from the tiger sharks uh, by, by the, the um, traveling passerby. And it's a demonstration of kindness in nature. I, I mean, we all think we're, we're so separate from nature, but such an altruistic act, such a selfless act, just because you want to help a fellow uh, uh, um, traveler, it, it really, really speaks to what what what, what we're like as as as, as humans. And um, he, Jeremy really brought that home. Uh, it was it was utterly powerful performance. He did, and he also had great range. Um, what well, right. I think surprised all of us was that he was really great with the comedy because there are some really funny moments <laughs> in this and you you kind of need a bit of wryness to that so he was fantastic you know we had a lot of fun narrating the penguins yeah <laughs> um, a little penguin chick left home alone but hungry oh. um and we can all identify with the toddler trying to steal out the fridge um so yeah and, and jeremy he just had a real twinkle in his eye when he kind of brought that to life and that's what you want in a series like this because it's a it's a roller coaster we have those great heartbreaking moments but we also have you know crabs who can't swim and a, mm -hmm. a tiny barn swallow that's trying to make this six thousand mile journey from south africa to the uk who's trying to fight off a flying fish yeah. so you know you have that whole range and that's what you want with a narrator is someone to deliver that range and draw you into the story yeah, to totally agree. And I, I, you know, for the sake of time, we really could talk so much about oh, yeah. um, just this, his performance alone. And I don't know if there's an award category for it, but should it be? Because just uh, the fantastic production of the series alone, but he's just the icing of the cake and everybody has their guilty uh, pleasures in terms of their desserts. And he absolutely brings that to this after a, a well done three course meal. Um, but Without a doubt, uh, I have to really go back through all of my bios, you know, all the way to me being a child. And uh, I have now very much uh, come to terms that the humpback whale is my favorite animal of all time. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned about the birth, but it was it was the little things like the blowing of the bubbles for the protection of the mother that literally made me choke. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And even seeing how... They use the bubbles in terms of like hunting, you know, rallying all the fish That's together the for them to collectively eat. This is remarkable. And like, yes, the the the, the birth. Something that's rarely witnessed was, you know, obviously that's that's a big thing. But just seeing just 
these acts of service was just so fascinating, so emotional. I know you all kind of touched on it. Uh, was there any other moments within the series that 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 kind of connected with you the way this connected with me? So for me, for me, like you say, it's those kind of almost those ordinary moments, those ordinary magical moments. So for me, the humpback sleeping under its mom is an amazing moment. So um, a humpback, a baby humpback can't yet control its buoyancy. So basically he has to tuck right in under mom uh, to stop drifting away so he doesn't drift away. So those kind of moments of ordinary magic, I think for me, um, it's always where I engage or where I still have my heart, you know, I still have my heart in my mouth when um, the caribou, the, we follow a caribou calf on its first migration. Um, crossing a river is tough when you're a little caribou, crossing a river that's swollen with snow melt is even tougher. Um, and then no spoilers, but it, 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 it does make it across, but then it can't get up the bank on the other side. Oh God. And then as you watch that moment with your heart in your mouth and it struggles and it struggles and it struggles. And I just, each time I'm thinking, are you going to make it? Yeah. I've watched it a lot of times. I know it makes it, but it is it's that those moments that kind of you take you you take them away with you because in that moment you're carried away. You're in that moment with that animal. Yeah, I mean, I would defy you to look at a barn swallow the same way again. I mean, these little swallows the size of your fist every every year undergo a six thousand mile migration from Southern Africa to the UK to 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 meet up with their their partner for life, and. When they cross the Sahara Desert, which is pretty much the size of the US, they have to contend with with drought and and mm -hmm. and, and and storms, uh, sandstorms, which ground them. And they go through all this. They have to dodge hobby hawks. They have to dodge leaping tiger fish when they when they when they take a bath. And therefore, when you see them innocently sat on on their perch in, in, in the UK, the US, you think. Wow, that little animal did all that just to get here. That 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 makes me sort of reevaluate how extraordinary nature really is. Truly, yeah. I always kind of like um, in humor talk about the, the the travel that Canadian geese make <laughs> to the United <laughs> States. <laughs> There's so many other mammals. Like, yeah, okay, that's a little nothing there. Uh, another funny, very tidbit, very funny tidbit in this was about the orcas, which everybody, you know, we, the killer whales, uh, hilarious and whatnot. How there was like, and the one humpback whale wasn't worried about the orcas because it was loud and and it, and it made me realize the whole idea of like you know the the loudest person in the room typically isn't the smartest so it was like yeah. oh it's so loud i'm not worried about that one they're not coming for us i thought that was so like, funny these animals, these animals are so smart that's what we have to understand it's like these animals are so smart so that humpback mom she knows that those are fish eating orca because orca they they make they make a lot of noise because they're after fish if an orca wants a humpback whale it's going to be quiet yeah it's going to be stealth mode right so so that's the thing the humpback mom she has been there done that she she truly understands her environment whereas we would just be like orca <laughs> right so i think i think for me it's it's what this series shows and is is how amazing nature is right these animals are amazing. They make amazing, incredible journeys that we can only imagine. <laughs> and they navigate like using the sun, the moon, the stars. Yeah. You know, I get lost without my phone. So yeah. it's just like, look at our planet. It is yeah. amazing. And then the turtles being able to connect with the magnetic field. That right there is always fascinating. The turtle versus the shark was the, the matchup I was not expecting to love. The way it did the turtle once again two, we have two sharks in the series we have a reef shark and a tiger shark so there's one where a turtle surfs on the nose of a shark yeah. that's pretty really cool yeah. and then there's another one where, where the turtle um a, an adult turtle so the turtle's journey is a 30-year journey it's a journey of life when she's an adult she knows that she can turn her shell so it's a shield yes. right? gladiator right <laughs> tiger shark. the yeah, bravery the i'll look yeah, the bravery. I'll look the shark in his mouth and says, okay, I got a little maneuver for you here. I love that. That's what I'm saying. Like this, this the series has so much rewatchability um in so many scales. And I definitely want to make sure I give time before we wrap up here to talk about the production because yes, while some of these migrations have been highlighted in other series on other platforms and whatnot, what truly sets this one apart is the cinematography. 
to be there in sort of the pilot position of these diving penguins, to be underwater in these interaction, in these moments that have never been seen before. Can you all talk a little bit more about the cinematography, the production, and truly as a techie here, the equipment that was used is just something I need to add to cart right now. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just need it, you know? <laughs> it's a lot of equipment. <laughs> a lot of equipment. We shipped a ton of camera kit to the Antarctic. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, as you said, Sarah, there were there were 415 uh, crew members around the world. It was a four, well, three and a half year production. Uh, it was a gargantuan logistical exercise, and that's just to get the crews in the right place at the right time to intercept with our characters. And then we wanted to give the audience the experience of riding alongside uh, uh, a migrating swallow. We wanted to soar in the sky. We wanted to swim alongside uh, migrating humpback male whales on the on the 3000 mile migration we want to run alongside uh, um a, a a zebra foal as it makes its gargantuan migration across the african savannah and that all required highly specialized camera technology working hand in hand with scientists along the way um so onboard cameras gyro stabilized gss cameras uh, are on tracking vehicles in the african savannah the amount of technology, uh, um, we, well, it's 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 highly specialized gear that that we only we we kind of half make half hire in natural history. And it was our mission. I'm really glad you say that you felt like you were there because it was our mission to make you feel like you were on these journeys. And so, you know, that involved building our, our specialist drone pilot kind of built, bespoke built five different drones to take to the Antarctic so we could mimic the flight of a wandering albatross. Wandering albatross is a uh, one of the biggest birds in the world with a wingspan of over 10 feet. Um, it can fly um, 70,000 miles in a single year. So yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> um, and it does this by dynamic soaring, which is this amazing thing where it, 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 it kind of uses gravity to go, go down and then it uses the thermals of the waves to shoot back up and we wanted to mimic that flight um, and to mimic that flight we had to build several different drones so that we didn't drop any in the ocean because they're quite expensive okay. um, and we also had to uh, enlist the help of our friends at Nat Geo um, who happened to have an expedition ship which is a big ship because we we basically needed a bigger boat because we mm. needed where we could land the drone in really big seas so it's kind of a combination of technology and also our kind of mission for the look of the series and then working with those teams in the field to make sure they're always kind of on message in terms of what we're getting so yeah I'm really glad you enjoyed the look of the series I mean it, it, a series needs to have substance we wanted it to have everything because it's a Nat Geo Disney Plus Hulu series it needs to be great and indeed it was my only complaint is I need the 4DX version of this, man. I need to go to theaters. I need to feel. I need to smell. I need all of it. <laughs> I know, well, so we have the amazing privilege that when we um, when we do the audio mix for them, we watch it basically in a cinema. So <laughs> we have full surround sounds. And some of these, you know, if you have surround sound at home, you oh, need yeah. to watch this series in surround. So it's mixed in Dolby Atmos. So for the techies, that means you've got sound above you as well as around you. And there are some scenes, like we have a monarch butterfly um, having to face down a truck on a texas highway that sound just wraps around you mm. and disorientates you and it makes it you feel like you're in that scene so yeah um i'd love to see it on a bigger it's screen with um full audio surround because it is an amazing experience well we'll see if if if, if our prayers uh, land on good ears but truly 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 sarah and mark it's it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you about this this is truly one of my favorite series this series this seat this look this year um in in an incredible animals journey which again will be releasing disney plus hulu november 19th thank y'all so much for your time today and hopefully we get to talk again very soon for future projects thank you thanks so much absolutely Thank you.